Hey, thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Who would think we were in March 2023 already? As you know, I try and do a monthly update. Gave myself a little bit of grace at the beginning of this year, January and February. We just recorded one update for those two months because we knew not a lot was going to change. But hey, change is here. Lots to talk about as we go through all the different vendors. First, give a big shout out to this month's winner. Um, you can see the details in the bottom. We have reached out to you already. You get uh, $200 of Amazon vouchers or $250 of uh, store vouchers for the tech geeks. Um, we're running that competition again. Watch to the end. Uh, you'll see what is up for grabs. So many people keep asking me, what are we seeing as the trends that's starting to happen uh, in the marketplace? Um, I think it's very interesting. Obviously, I've always talked about probably for about a year, this single pane of glass, the idea that everybody's wanting to be able to manage their switches and access points and firewalls and endpoints all in the same control panel. I do still see that happening. I still see a chase of, in the firewall market, some of the vendors trying to own their own um, endpoint software. So instead of rebranding somebody else's antivirus, we see that. We see a few manufacturers chasing after um, bringing out switches um, in that firewall market space as well. One of the trends that I'm starting to see is maybe some bigger organizations looking at the cost of being in the cloud. Let's look at the cloud as being consuming data um, on other people's equipment, you know, Azure, AWS, those type of things. When you get to a certain size, those can outstrip the fact of you renting your own space in the data center, putting your own servers in. So I'm wondering, I see a big, a few big companies already looking at how many millions they're gonna save by moving away, mainly for the storage um, costs uh, in things like AWS. So I'm wondering whether we're gonna start to see a, a few changes in people going back to physical hardware firewalls in data centers. Maybe we'll still keep with their virtual environment, but they're gonna run it more themselves. So there's some interesting changes uh, coming and it'll be interesting to see how that rolls out over this year. So let's head into some of our vendors. So let's start with Ubiquity. Massive start to the year for Ubiquity. Whole bunch of new products out. Let's have a look. Most of you all know and keep asking us, is it real, is it real, do you have them? The Doorbell G4 Pro or the G4 Doorbell Pro. Have one actually in my hand. We get around about 10 a week. You'll see on our website, those come in. Um, they're generally sold before they come in. So if you wait for them to come into stock, they're already gone. What else have we got? Doorbell Chime. We're never gonna probably see an Australian version of uh, these, so we generally bring in the US or the European um, version, so you just need a travel adapter to make it work. Then, what are we excited about? These, the G5 range. So we have the Ubiquiti G5 Bullet, G5 Dome, um, and hopefully soon out of early release. These are full general release now. Um, well, we have the G5 Flex. I did, hopefully I did say this with the G5s. Uh, the G5 Flex and the G5 Pro. Again, people are saying, how have you got these in Australia? We buy directly from Ubiquity across the world. Get your orders in. People are questioning the fact, why are these cheaper than the G4 bullets? Look, there are a few things. You only get a 100 meg uh, ethernet um, card on this, but obviously even if this was 4K and it's only 2K, you'd only be doing a maximum of 40 meg a second or so, so really that doesn't make any difference. I believe that Ubiquity are trying to compete with some of the cheaper end of the market. So these are new chipsets. Um, the um, infrared on these is phenomenal. The picture quality is amazing. All right, grab those. Again, we only have small quantities of them. Um, what else we've got? We've got the OCD panels. If you love your rack looking great, we've got OCD panels in 2U, 1U. Um, we've got them uh, solid like this. We've got vented and there's um, some new ones coming in, which is a, um, a brush. Um, so you can actually pull your cables from back to front and the brushes hide the mess behind it. So we've got a whole bunch of those. Um, we have uh, a stand for the G2, sorry, the G, the um, Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus as well to stand it upright. So there's a whole bunch of new items there on the way from Ubiquity. Probably going to still see a while for mass um, filtering through into the Australian market. But if you hang out on our website, you'll find most of those purchasable now. What about the rest of the stock? Uh, great for generally the U6 range, light, uh, pro, LR, enterprise. So if you're looking for access points, not a problem. Um, still really can't get things like the unified gate, uh, security gateway, the USGs. Um, so 
I think we're probably seeing most people going, going to buy either a UDR, the Dream Router or the Dream Machine. Um, we're going to also see a lot more people going for the Pro models. The um, SE is probably really great at the moment because you get eight, uh, so UDM SE because you get eight ports of PoE. Um, so you get a small switch router um, and all the other bits and pieces that you get with that, the ability to run pretty much all of the Ubiquiti applications. So we still see a struggle in the small switches. Really anything below 24 port, you're gonna to struggle to find anything useful. And even at the 24 port, the 24 port, just standard PoE, really comes in and out of um, stock so quickly, um, as in they're sold before they're really around. Um, and so then it's months before they come back in again. So you'd really have to look at the pro range. So you may have to look at some other vendors in the switch, or like I said, go for something like the UDM Pro or the UDM SE. Um, so switch is still a big problem. Access points generally good. Starting to see things like the AC mesh float around again. I'm not really seeing much more in the wireless six side for outside yet. Um, that's probably a very quick sum up um, of Ubiquiti, but new products uh, there, grab those while you can. Uh, Ruji, um, great lot of new things there coming from Ruji. If you're watching some of our videos, some great performance. We've got this fantastic little router. Um, it's a multi-WAN, can do about four WANs um, with source and destination routing, which is really neat. It's an access point, four port switch. Um, and only about $200. So you're looking for a, a simple, easy to manage router that can mesh with other um, Ruji devices. That's pretty good. Otherwise, supply is pretty good. The um, Outdoor Omnis, the RAP6262. Um, we've weathered the storm with a little bit of a few stock issues on those. We've got more of those coming in in the next week or so. Um, but really easy in that product range. So maybe do have a look at it. TP-Link, TP-Link again. Just keep chugging around, some good stock there. It's a great alternative um, if you are struggling with Ubiquiti, um, looking for some alternatives, especially in those smaller switches. Do have a look at the TP-Link Amada range. Um, it could fill in some massive gaps for you. I know some of the, the big uh, you know, hosting companies out there um, have started to look at um, some of those things that they could do with Amada as well. So it, it is a worthwhile product to have a look at. Meraki, Meraki, some of their new Devices are on shorter lead times. We're still, you know, seeing that 90 plus days as a fairly standard in there for Meraki. Um, who else have we got? Draytech. Uh, Draytech, uh, again, a good simple supply. They are mainly a router manufacturer. If you stick with the routers, then you will get good supplies. Some hit and miss on the switch side of things. Um, so what else are we gonna have on our website very shortly? Mile site, um, which are mainly in the camera uh, side of things. Uh, supply is uh, fairly good with those if you're looking for an alternative. Um, we're also gonna have some Rio link um, there shortly as well. These are more prosumer, um, higher end uh, quality cameras just for the home use, not really for business uh, quality. Just trying to find a, a gap there for many people in that space. So that probably runs around um, a large number of the wireless vendors. I just have a quick click through on my mind. I don't think there's probably anything else there to think about. Then let's move on to our firewall vendors. All right, again, WatchGuard, exciting here. Um, loads more, we'll do some box openings soon. We have a whole new range just released on the 15th of February. Um, so uh, 2023, so we have the new T25 and T25 wireless. We have the T45 the T45 PoE, so it has some PoE on, on there to power access points, and the T45 PoE wireless. We're shortly gonna have then the uh, T45 CW, which I think is the um, one that supports 5G and 4G as well as doing wireless, and we've got the T85 PoE. So really excited about some great new products there coming from WatchGuard, their supply continues solid as normal. Um, in the worst case, it's generally about 14 days if they have to bring them in. They have weathered the time. In the wireless access point side of things, still a good delivery time on those. We are seeing some of the new features that we've been waiting for in the threat detection side on their access points starting to roll out in the next week or so here uh, in March 2023. So really good there, falling out. Fortinet, again, if you're looking for 40s, 60s, 80s, 100s, the supply is pretty good and moving. Many of their access points, uh, we've had customers waiting for over six months now. Um, we're gonna start seeing those, you know, hopefully start to arrive towards the end of March and April this year. So maybe hopefully a little bit more of a flow running at that point. 
Um, but again, buy these units without wireless. You, in fact, you won't find many of them with wireless at all uh, on our website. Um, so buy the straight unit, often buy it with the services added on extra. Don't try and buy a bundle, it will often slow it down. All right, so that's a pretty good. What else we got? Sonic Wall supply lines. Got some good deals running on those still at the moment. So do jump on there if you're buying three years of advanced. You basically get the hardware for free. Um, what have we got? Just their supply lines are fairly solid again, 14 days. Uh, maybe pushing out to 21 days generally. They've got some new wireless access points. We're not seeing what the supply line is like on those really at the moment. Um, but if you're desperate for those, come talk to us. I would think that we're probably talking about a month or a couple of months on those um, for consistent supply. So what else have we got? Um, we have done Fortinet. We've done WatchGuard. We've had a look at Sophos. Sophos again. Uh, Mad Munch month coming up for us here. So if you're looking to buy a brand new Sophos, hop onto the Tech Geeks website. Um, we've got a 10% discount running across all brand new purchases uh, for um, the uh, appliances themselves. If you've got special requirements, reach out to us. I'm sure we can do a, a special quote for you. Supply line is pretty good with those. Again, you know, we can find the access points. Uh, switches are a little bit slower. And some of those units, again, will probably be, you know, a couple of weeks. But the consistency we're seeing in ordering in across all of the vendors has now improved, which is really, really good. So look, there's a real brief roundup of, you know, the main vendors um, that I deal with. It's great to see some diversity in the products. Great to see some new products uh, coming uh, now, which I'm really excited about. So if you want to win this month, very simple, like us on social, comment on YouTube's, share our YouTubes, uh, anything along those lines that gets us some visibility of uh, you interacting with us. I'm going to give you the options. Um, you can win a, a G5 bullet if that's your thing. Um, maybe you're more interested in uh, winning um, one of these Ruji EG105s. Uh, maybe that's the, your thing. Maybe you prefer $200 of Amazon vouchers or $250 of store credit at the Tech Geeks. Whichever one of those, get yourself visible. We'll do a um, uh, or win uh, a draw at the end of March and announce it again in our April update. So guys, thanks for stopping by our channel. Please subscribe and stay up to date.